Okay everybody, what I have here right now is my NASA light, which uh, just arrived today in the mail. I will be building an exocopter with this, but before starting the build, I'll upgrade this from version 1 to version 2. And to do that, what I have to do is uh, just follow some steps that you can find on Google easily. But for now I'll tell you what I have here. So I have here a battery pack and I have a wire which I'll connect later which is connected to the power model of the NASA light red to red, black to black then the power cable coming out of the power module on the NASA goes into X3 and then I have the LED plugged where it says LED and then I have the USB cable plugged to my computer what I'll do right now simply is I have this software on my computer which is NASA upgrade 1.01 .01. I'll open that right click it and start it as administrator there and uh, it should pop up with this window now let me plug in power to the NASA control board and as you can see the LED is blinking right now I'll plug USB cable here so I'll be plugging it to the computer it says installing software controller we'll wait for that to be installed and uh, once it is installed I'll open the DJI NASA M Light Assistant version 1.00 and then I'll simply follow some steps and it should upgrade this NASA Light flight controller to version 2 which is a lot more stable and better okay so I realized what I was doing wrong I forgot to install the drivers for the the NASA so I'll install that you can get that on uh, Google and uh, just install it to your computer as I will do now I have this DJI Windows driver installer executed as administrator English OK please power on this yep. next 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 it asks for for security uh, reasons if you want to install it just click yes and right now it's, it is installing stop Oops. okay so now I have the drivers installed it says here DJI Innovation Zinc device updated just click OK and finish okay so now that I have the drivers installed Let's open again the software. Uh, no, let me do something first. I'll unplug the NASA board from the computer, and I'll I'll open the software for, for the upgrade. And as you see, once again this window pops up. Now I'll plug the NASA back to the computer, having it powered on. Plug the NASA back to the computer. Okay, having the NASA upgrade project 1.1 open, I'll open DJI NASA Light Assistant version 1. And there's one thing that you must be sure is that you have registered to the NASA site and you have login here done. So I had to register and do the login and now 
this shows up from 1.0 to 4.2 download successfully I'll click upgrade do you really want to upgrade? yes and now it is upgrading upgrade success please power cycle device ok now here it says power cycle view NASA after upgrade so I'll turn this off power off close light assistant and run NASA assistant 2.20 so I'll close light assistant I'll connect power to the NASA again and now I'll run 2.20 and it simply says enjoy so now it should now it should work and let me log in again low battery Please click the advanced calibration to calibrate the IMU. Okay. I should place the NASA on a leveled surface, which, which I don't have now. Uh, but it seems that everything is working. So. Basic. Now I have support for octocopters and uh, and it says that I am at version 4.2, which before was 1.0. So this NASA light was successfully upgraded to version 4.02. I'll simply put it on a level surface and calibrate the sensors. Okay? That's how you upgrade the NASA. I was having a bit of an issue because I had no login done. As soon as you log in, it works fine. See you next time.